Hickok 45, you can see I'm over here on the chapter two hill, the rifle range. Of course, everything's a rifle, everything's a pistol range around here, whatever I want it to be, right? But uh, we're gonna do a chapter two uh, with the Battle Rifle Company, the BR-4 Odin, okay? Now it's not storming, there's no thunder today, so I guess maybe it's not an appropriate time for it, but we're going to do it anyway, okay? And uh, we, we, I'd say we were rushed a little bit on the first video, but not really. We came back and talked a little bit more after the storm subsided uh, a few days later and uh, tacked that onto that video. But uh, hopefully you caught the first video. But uh, this rifle is, is doing fine so far. I told you I'd shoot it some more, keep shooting it. It's, it's gotten mixed reviews, especially the earlier guns. Uh, in fact, there's been some real criticism I've seen, and uh, but this rifle, the only the only thing we've had, uh, I guess, not work. Uh, well, if you can call it that, is uh, that the the rail, the screws loosened up when John had it out firing, whatever, three or four hundred rounds one day, and uh, and I noticed the other day after I had shot it, I, I was able to tighten it up just a little bit. They weren't entirely tight, and being the lazy guy I am. I have not gotten around, actually trying to do too many different things, but I've not gotten around to uh, putting some thread locker on the screws. But that's the only thing, and that's after lots of rounds. So before I go into battle, you know, I will make sure I get that done. But uh, but anyway, anyway, it's been okay so far. So we'll, we'll keep shooting it and, uh, and see. And trigger's kind of stiff. I mentioned in an earlier video, John doesn't like the trigger on this thing. It's not the best trigger I've ever shot, but it's it's mainly because it's stiff. And uh, but I, I don't mind it too much. I, I don't mind a stiff trigger. It, it's hard to triggers are uh, are really a, a nebulous thing. Uh, it, it just depends on a person a person's preference. Uh, one person will hate this trigger. Another person might really like it. I I don't have big problems with it. Uh, it's a little better I think than some of the the triggers that come on a lot of the custom even custom guns. You know or the uh, like the Daniel Defense, which is a great gun that I've got. It has a horrible trigger. So I think the manufacturers just assume they're gonna switch out the trigger probably, uh, I don't know. Maybe they don't. But then again, they also don't want them too light because there's liability issues there. So they want the firearm to be hard to shoot, right? <laughs> okay, let's see if my heart rates down after running over here. And let's take a couple shots over there. Shoot some 62 grain Federal. We appreciate them sending that. Oh man, this is, uh, it's got the bad lever and everything. All right, I like the rail, I like the feel of the rail on this gun, it's just a perfect size for me. I was bragging on that uh, aspect earlier on. All right, we're gonna put one on the yellow plate or the main plate to start off here, if I can hit it. If I can't hit it, I might as well go home. And you all might as well turn your computer off. <sighs> There we go. It's like, no, it looks like you're hitting a little higher than I thought. Let me put another one on. I'm going to hold around the bottom of it. Uh, I've got to hold up a little bit. Okay. Hold up a little bit on it and pop it. All right, we'll see what we can hit. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and try one of those little square babies over there. Now, if I hit them, they might not want to fall. These big five, five, six rounds. We'll try that middle one. So I better keep at it while I'm ahead. Let's go for the red plate. Wow. Let's try that. Uh, that's a cinder block or a piece of the one, I think. Let's try the yellow plate once more. Wow. 
and a red plate. I'm gonna have to reload it to hit the red plate. <laughs> and I happen to have some more ammo in my mag pouch back there. Alright. Pretty sweet. And I've got this uh there we go, the bad lever from Magpul enables you to uh, put a new round in, work the bolt from uh, over here, okay? Again, I'm still not sure what I think about that. It, it works. All right, what was I doing? Oh yes, I was busy missing the red plate, that little one. It's just amazing. If you hold it on the target while you're pulling the trigger, and when the trigger breaks, often you will hit the target. Let's try these guys right here. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do that. It just felt good. So anyway, we're, we're still hot here. But uh, even though it's a cold day in December, uh, Battle Rifle Company, the BR-4 Odin, and uh, I don't know. I just tend to shoot the thing well. I think it's just uh, it's everything combined. Uh, well, I don't know how well that is. This is not exactly like uh, a challenging course for a marine or something, but uh, I don't know, it's the right length. I like the feel of the uh, the size, like I say, of the rail, the forearm there, and everything. And, and I like the grip. The trigger's a little stiff, but it's okay. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's uh, it feels good. I think if I if I was ever going to build the ideal rifle. It would look something like this. It might not be this, you know, a battle rifle company, but it, it might be, you know, a three thousand dollar AR. I don't know, but I'd wanted I'd want it to feel like this and uh, have a rail that size and uh, the length and, and everything and the weight. It, it feels about right weight wise. So, so all those uh, all those characteristics I like. And now, you know, we'll keep shooting it and see how it holds up. But uh, as for now, I still kind of like the gun, I have to say, because it works uh, for me. And like I said, there's a, there's a kind of a, there's mixed uh, reviews on these guns. Really positive, really negative. So it uh, just depends on, you know, uh, other people's experience. So far, our experiences have been okay. Not any issues other than that loosening up. And we're trying to, you know, let you know about whatever comes up with the rifle. If it falls apart tomorrow, we'll let you know, okay? Life is good.